at 6 o'clock, a lawsuit has been filed against the county and a former top-ranking sheriff's official. Team 10 broke the story of accusations against assistant sheriff Rich Miller. Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha is live now in the newsroom with details about the alleged inappropriate conduct. Mel. Kim, this is the lawsuit here against the county and Rich Miller, who recently retired as assistant sheriff. It alleges a number of things, including hostile work environment, sexual harassment and retaliation. Now, the lawsuit was filed by an administrative secretary. We are not naming her because she says she's a victim of sexual harassment by Rich Miller. She said that, quote, on at least five separate occasions, Miller inappropriately hugged her and thrusted his crotch area into her. She also said that he made Made inappropriate sexual innuendo to her, including tickling her hand. In the lawsuit, she claimed the inappropriate touchings and comments were so pervasive she was afraid to work past 5 p.m. because she was gravely feared being alone with him. In September, she applied for a new job within the department to avoid him and his harassment. Instead, she said she was not granted the transfer and believes that Miller demoted her in retaliation for her rejection of his sexual advances. Miller previously told me that he absolutely denied the allegations of inappropriate conduct. I reached out to the county and the sheriff's department. It was late in the day, but a sheriff's spokesperson said they cannot comment on pending lawsuits. I'm still waiting to hear back from the county. Now, during a previous media inquiry, the sheriff's spokesperson did say the person filing the claim was not demoted and that she currently receives the same benefits and pay as her previous assignments. Of course, this is a story we will continue to follow here on 10 News. I'm Melissa Masiha, live in the newsroom, Team 10.